Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. Today I have five under $100 speculation 9.8 comics to buy. And uh, you know what, just doing some of the research for the video, I ended up purchasing two of the 9.8s on the list here. Uh, so yeah, solid list to consider for sure. Uh, first one, a Gotham Academy number one in a 9.8. This one's going down as the first appearance of Maps. And uh, Maps is a short form for Mia Mitsuguchi. Uh, she's become the new Robin in some of the recent Batman comic books. Yeah, looking uh, pretty cool as a new Robin, I think, in uh, recent comics. Uh, so, you know, for myself, just a first appearance of a new Robin, still kind of affordable in, in a 9.8. This was uh, one that I did end up purchasing in the last few days here. A Gotham Academy, number one in a 9.8. There's 68 9.8s in a blue label. 65.4% is the 9.8 ratio. And this one came out in 2014. So, you know, just like last year was her first appearance as Robin. So... You know, her first appearance was quite a long time ago, and I think that works well as making this one a better collector item. Because, like, if her first appearance was a couple weeks before she became Robin, uh, there'd be probably hundreds of those on the census. Uh, one of 68 on this one, though, right now. Uh, so, Gotham Academy won in a 9.8. I ended up paying $95.50. A couple other sales I'd saw for a $99.00. And actually one in December I saw on eBay sell in an auction for 68 bucks. So, uh, you know, that $68 is going to be a scream in value, I think, if you're a Batman fan on a Gotham Academy number one. But you know what? For myself, kind of near the higher end of the fair value, I think $95.50 was making sense. And, you know, you get that big first appearance of the new Robin in there. Gotham Academy, though, is a pretty phenomenal read, I would say. And uh, the art is fantastic, too. I read the first few issues. And I uh, kind of getting, like, you know, Harry Potter and sort of Goonies vibes out of it. So... I feel like there's a little bit of potential with Gotham Academy. Maybe it gets picked up and turned into a show and it would be like a really cool perspective on something, you know, happening in Gotham that normally you wouldn't see in like a normal uh, kind of Batman comic book or movie or something like that. So there's probably some potential, I think, with Gotham Academy and on top of like the first appearance of Maps. So this one is just absolutely one to think about, uh, certainly uh, for a 9.8, under 100 bucks uh, if you're a big Batman fan, for sure. Okay, next one's uh, Something is Killing the Children, number 16. This one uh, begins the origin of Erica Slaughter, and it's the first full appearance of Jessica Slaughter as well. I still got to get around to reading uh, Something is Killing the Children, but uh, I'm kind of following the books a little more closely recently, so I think I'll get around to uh, reading these ones uh, eventually. There's 385 9.8s in the first print of this origin issue, issue 16. 90.6% is the 9.8 ratio. So you know what? On my comic shop right now, if you go to their website, they have eBay listings too, but on their website, they're selling one for $39.99 or best offer in that first print. And, uh, you know, that's a pretty great value, I would say, certainly if you're looking for kind of an affordable, uh, something is killing the children key issue. But uh, there's a lot of other variants for this one. I'll let you kind of have a look at all the variants, maybe you like some of the variants. But uh, there is the one per story variant that's the virgin variant of the first print, essentially. Uh, I was kind of, I'm watching one on eBay right now for $150 of that one per store variant, and I was pretty close to pulling the trigger on it. I think that one's probably worth it to kind of pay up a little bit more from the first print. Uh, so maybe if you're a little seri more serious about this one, you can go after that one per store variant in the 9.8. Uh, yeah, one on eBay right now for $150. I think I saw one sell a little bit closer to $100 in that one per store variant. So just a, a really good affordable uh, something is killing the children key issue to uh, consider because the first print in the 9.8 is kind of $800 or so now. So yeah, a few uh, affordable options uh, for something's killing the children there. Okay, next one's a uh, Batman black and white number three. A couple first appearances on this one and I'm surprised this one hasn't maybe been a little bit more popular, um, you know, in the last uh, year or so. This one, a new comic book though last year, but it's a uh, first appearance of Tiffany Fox as Robin. And you know, um, it's pretty much the first appearance of like Tiffany Fox kind of kicking ass. I wouldn't say, like, it, she's Robin or maybe she's even Batgirl. It's kind of hard to tell, like, you know, who she is. But uh, basically, this is the first time you see Tiffany Fox fighting sort of uh, beside um, Jace, the new uh, Future State Batman. So that's pretty cool. It's a short story by Oliver Copiel, too. Um, yeah, really great art, I think, on that one. There's, this is kind of a collection of short stories. It's black, Batman Black and White. But it's also, uh, there was a short story by Bengal, and it's the first appearance of Batman's daughter. In this one so absolutely just uh you know some uh, pretty solid first appearances and still affordable in the 9.8 there's 81 9.8s in a blue label 93.1 percent is the 9.8 ratio that's on the first print with that josh middleton cover kind of the silhouette of batman looking pretty cool uh so you know what uh there was an affordable one up in canada for this one with that middleton cover in the first print for 54.99 in a 9.8 
I ended up purchasing that one, yeah, for $54.99. I saw another one sell for uh, $42 in that first print. You might want to consider the second print. It has the Tiffany Fox cover with the design variant. I saw sort of that one in a 9.8 sell in the kind of $60 range. I think that one's maybe a little bit more wanted. And to be honest, I was watching one on eBay and I almost kind of was thinking of pulling the trigger and it just sold like overnight, I think, just last night. Uh, so the second printing of a Batman Black and White number three might be one to consider as well. Okay, I'm moving on here. Uh, a Star Wars High Republic Adventures Monster of Temple Peak number one. Uh, so this one is first appearance of Ty York. Ty York, a, a pretty solid Jedi in the High Republic era. Um, you know, the way to think about Ty York, I think she's almost like a Han Solo kind of Jedi. Like she was trained, but then she sort of left, you know, the Jedi training and the Padawan training and just kind of became a badass, like a, like, a, uh, like a Han Solo type of character. So she's a bit of a Jedi, but a mercenary at the same time. So a lot of potential, I think, with a Ty York character. And uh, she's on the cover as well. So kind of first appearance in comics uh, with a, a, a great cover appearance as well. 45, 9.8s in a blue label, 76.3% the 9.8 ratio. This one's been heating up a little bit. There's been rumors of sort of like maybe the next Star Wars movie is Old Republic or High Republic. So this one, uh, recent sale was for $95. Uh, but you go back a month or two, this one had kind of sold for like 50 or 60. So maybe they'll go a little bit lower if you're kind of patient on this one. I don't think there's any rush on this one, but big first appearance with some potential, uh, you know, on the cover as too, looking awesome as well. So I think uh, Monster of Temple Peak number one, 9.8 is one to think about under a hundred bucks for sure. Okay, next one, uh, last one here, kind of a two for one. We'll go uh, Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, Boosh, number one. Uh, so Boosh, we normally know Boosh as uh, Princess Leia dressed up in disguise as Boosh, but this is actually the first appearance of Boosh, uh, the bounty hunter, like not Princess Leia dressed up in disguise. So I think that there could be some potential with this one where like, you know, everyone's sort of familiar with how Boosh looks, but you know, maybe they bring uh, Boosh onto a show or a movie and you know, you can learn all about like who actual who actually Boosh is and you know, it wouldn't obviously wouldn't be Princess Leia in disguise. Uh, so maybe there's some potential with Boosh and first appearance in comic books on this one. In the first print, 24 9.8s in a blue label, 96% the 9.8 ratio. Saw one sell for $32 in that first print and I think there's one on eBay for about 50 or so. Uh, and I mentioned a two for one here, uh, a Jabba number one. So War of the Bounty Hunters Jabba number one is first appearance of Deva Longpop who's kind of a, a new bounty hunter that's looking pretty cool. Uh, that one in the first print is a similar value, I would say maybe $50 to $60, maybe it's about 10 bucks more. Uh, the variants for each of these might be worth going after as well. The one for 25 variants, they're still, I think the Boosh one, I saw one sell for like 80 or 90 bucks in the variant 9.8. Uh, the Jabba variant looks really cool. It's like the Coelho um, Deva Long Pop on the cover variant. I think that one will probably go for like 125 to 150. Uh, with the first print in the Jabba one going for pretty much like 60 bucks or so. And there, there's a couple variants for each. I'll let you kind of look over those and um, judge which ones you like if you want to go for a variant. But uh, yeah, first appearance of Devil Long Pop on Jabba one and Boosh number one. First appearance of Boosh in comic books are uh, some pretty, you know, solid, uh, cheap, affordable Star Wars ones and a 9.8 to consider for sure. All right, team, I uh, just wanted to get some speculations out there. Maybe these ones are kind of the next big thing. Who knows? Uh, we'll see. Uh, keep an eye on them uh, moving forward for sure. All righty, team, uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. If you're liking my videos, please subscribe and hit that bell, and I'll keep you updated on future content.